NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Turning to the weather now, Matt, I cannot believe that we have another day of 70s ahead of us. Record warmth. I know we've been saying, oh, this is the last 70s for the season, probably since like early October. Right. And it just keeps coming. It's pretty unbelievable, isn't it? It is. Yeah, and we're going to continue that in for the rest of the weekend and even into the first part of the work week. We're talking about temperatures in the 60s, already off to a mild start. It's really feeling like a summer morning out there. 62 right now in the Queen City. It's 52 in Plattsburgh, so a little cooler across the lake, but many locations that are seeing the breeze are in the 60s right now out of the south 66 in Montpelier 66 in Bennington still in the 40s down in parts of the lower Connecticut River Valley but that'll all change later this afternoon we've got some clouds streaming across southern areas now places like Middlebury Rutland Lebanon seeing some of that cloud cover clear skies elsewhere we'll call it a mix of sun and clouds this afternoon we're under this very warm and humid air mass and that's all due to this Bermuda high off to the south kind of pumping up this warmer air ahead of the cold front that's off to our west that cold front may Makes it in on Sunday with a few showers, but record warmth all weekend until then. Showers likely tomorrow associated with that cold front. And we're staying breezy and warm through Monday before the cooler air really starts to come in here. Now, as far as records go, we're certainly going to beat it today in Burlington. The record is 72 set back in 1938. We're forecasting 75 today. Even Plattsburgh, old record of 68 set back in 1948, going to be beat out by a high of 71. Saranac Lake down to the uh, on the bottom of the list there probably won't make it quite to their record of 74, but nevertheless in the 70s in Saranac Lake is pretty impressive for early November. Now the winds out of the south is really what you'll notice gusting up to 30 miles per hour later this afternoon. Overnight tonight they really pick up as a low level jet comes across the region, so we could be gusting up to 40 miles per hour in parts of the Champlain and St. Lawrence valleys. Those winds staying gusty all day tomorrow, so Despite the cloud cover, the showers and the warmth and that wind, we'll be seeing temperatures uh, in the 70s all day. Now, the winds kind of diminish a little bit into the first half of Monday, but they turn off to the northwest. That's when that cooler air starts to bleed in later Monday, gusting up to 30 miles per hour then. So again, staying breezy through Monday, but very warm until then. We can expect the clouds in southern areas to completely burn off. We do have probably a mix of sun and clouds this afternoon, but still a good deal of sunshine, especially across northern areas. High temperatures getting up into the 70s. And these nighttime lows in the 60s, it's legitimately going to feel like a summer night out there. Tomorrow morning, starting off at 66 in Burlington. The shower's starting to come through. I do think that the front gets kind of hung up across the region. So there could be a couple of heavy downpours embedded in some of these uh, showers as we go through the early and late afternoon hours. Notice how it kind of moves off to our east as we go through later Sunday into Monday. But still staying very mild into Monday morning. We'll get up into the 60s for Monday. And then in the afternoon, we start start to turn things around to the northwest and that's when that cooler air starts to come in but certainly no cool air this afternoon to be found 75 in Burlington 71 in Plattsburgh 76 in Lebanon partly cloudy skies breezy southerly winds look at those nighttime lows overnight 65 Burlington 63 in Montpelier 61 in Plattsburgh staying very windy sustained winds 25 miles per hour gusting up to 40 at times clocks go back overnight as well but we stay mild Sunday even into Monday the first cool day and the forecast is going to be Tuesday, Election Day, with the high of 49.